<laughs> Bye. <laughs> Happy what feels like the first day of autumn vlog. It is absolutely freezing. I want to go and put a dressing gown on and I want to just snuggle on the sofa. The first pomegranate noir of the season has been lit and I am ready to start lighting fires and snuggling under blankets and that also means that it's time to get my house and my wardrobe ready for autumn. I'm excited. You know that I'm just, I feel like I mention it all the time but I'm just utterly obsessed with the seasons. Like I am constantly talking about the season. I don't know what it is. I just love the change and seeing the difference and obviously where we live everything just changes so much that it's just wonderful so i did actually make my first clothing order for autumn and a lot of people were like it's august but one thing i know is that if you start seeing autumn clothing that you like then you definitely should order it because it goes out of stock really really quickly all the good stuff goes really quickly so i'm going to be unboxing that with you yeah I'm excited. I think I've got some really good bits and I'll be showing you those. We'll go and do that up in my dressing room probably. My hair is looking a little bit interesting today. I am world record egg, but we're just gonna go with it. You might also notice that I've got quite a bit of texture on my face at the moment. I'm having a treatment and I'm like testing something out and I'm gonna have to let you know if it's any good, but I don't wanna say anything about it yet. So if you notice that I've got texture on my skin, that will be why, okay? I'm taking one for the team at the moment and I'm struggling with it. I'm having to wear a lot more foundation and a lot thicker foundation at the moment, but it, apparently it all will be worth it. So I'll update you. I've also been planning my autumn wreath. As you can see, we have a wreath on our door, but I'm going to be painting my front door. Shh, don't tell anyone, it's a secret. And the new door will be a lot more sophisticated and I'm very excited for it but I want a special type of wreath. Obviously I love dried things, <laughs> dried things, dried stems and dried plants. They're just my style at the moment so I really want a wreath that incorporates that and those tones. I also want to bring the kind of countryside where we live in. And we've got a lot of lavender here and we've also got a lot of pheasants. Well we usually do around this time of year. I'm not sure if they've been let out yet but we have a lot of pheasants and I'd love to have some like pheasant feathers in there and things like that. So I've started brainstorming with the company that's hopefully gonna be making it. I am paying for it by the way, just an FYI, before people start asking, um, is that gifted? <laughs> it's not. So that should arrive hopefully next week, so I'll be vlogging that. I'm gonna do the obligatory trip to HomeSense to check out all of their autumn decor stuff, of course, of course. But until then, let's get cracking opening this box up and checking out what I've been buying, if there's any other bits that I want as well. Hey, lovey. And get to it. But at the moment, I really feel like I need to crank up the heating because it's cold. Oh. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but I decided that I would vlog me carrying this very big box up the stairs that we are going to go through and oh my god it weighs a ton <sighs> okay we've almost made it ow <laughs> oh, I just got myself in the neck okay <laughs> just stay there for a second <laughs> is that alright? that's alright well, I thought we'd go through this box together. I'm obviously going to try everything on and show you the outfits. I'll try and do little cutaways as well. But in here is actually another pair of these trousers. I got these in a size bigger initially and they are quite rigid. So I don't know. Well, I wanted to try the smaller size to see how they fit because they are quite loose, but because they're so rigid, I thought they'd be more comfortable, slightly bigger, but I didn't actually ever try on the smaller size. So I've got the smaller size in here. I may have to send them back. Obviously gone for the eco packaging as always on my My Therese orders. Obviously as well, you know that I work with My Teresa and this video is in uh, sponsored collaboration with My Teresa. I shop there all the time 
and these videos are part of an ongoing collaboration with them. It's so nice to be able to work with a brand that offers such great service. Like I cannot tell you how quickly when I send stuff back, they are refunded. I've not experienced that with any store. The efficiency of this of their online store is like no other. So I find the whole process really, really enjoyable. And I usually, I just find sending things back such a ball ache. But with my Teresa, I'll over order and then send back whatever I don't want. And obviously they now offer the one day delivery, which is amazing, absolutely amazing. I remember the, the last time I did an order it was coming obviously from Germany and it was the first to arrive and I ordered from three different stores. Two of them were UK based and my Teresa was the only one that wasn't UK based and yet it arrived first. <laughs> right, we are almost in. I think this box is so big because I've actually got a coat in here. And this is a coat that I wanted last season. But I ended up getting a cream Tibby coat and this is a different one. So anyway, I'll stop ruining the surprise. My receipt. Lovely packaging. Oh, it all looks so cozy. So first up, I almost purchased the jumper version of this, but then I saw the cardigan and I thought I can't have both. And also the jumper dress is quite tight around the bottom and I don't like jumper dresses that are tight around there. But then I saw the cardigan and it didn't matter about the jumper dress anyway, because I got this from Max Mara. So this is a sort of houndstooth black and white cardigan, but it has this gorgeous camel trim to it around the sleeves and the shoulders and also around the neck as well. So it's just got really subtle detailing from that and then it's also got a belt somewhere as well yeah so it's belted i love a belted cardigan this with leather trousers or black trousers or even jeans will look so nice and i just love being able to throw on comfy cardigans what is the fabric of this so it is 70 percent wool and 30 percent cashmere so it's really nice and soft as well and just a design that I loved. So the jumper dress maybe wasn't for me. This cardigan definitely was. This is the Max Mara cardigan styled up the same way basically as the first look. But I think that this is such a cozy little number. It almost looks a little bit barman as well, but it doesn't have shoulder pads, but it just looks really nice and smart. I think this with some cream trousers as well will look really nice, but just something that I can easily throw on and be cozy because I am the coldest person in the world at winter and autumn time. And I plan to be nice and cozy this season. <laughs> I don't want to be caught out without my nice cozy stuff. So this is a great little addition to my wardrobe. Okay, I've just changed the settings on my camera and I think that it'll be a little bit better now. It'll stop going light and dark so quickly because I had it on some weird facial recognition thing. Now, it should be a lot more seamless when you see my outfits. I'm so sorry about that. I just, I literally don't know what I'm doing with these cameras. So yeah, just, I apologize. <laughs> Next up is a pair of jeans. And I may need to get a size up in these because they look so tiny. Oh my goodness. I actually have these jeans in this size as well. How bizarre. Because I obviously bought, so sorry, these are the Stella McCartney jeans that I purchased last year, but I got them in black this year because I wear them so much. My old Stella McCartney jeans are in stock as well, the really long ones. I'll link those down below, the normal denim ones. These look slightly shorter though. They don't look as long. Are they as long? Oh no, they are. To be honest, I'll probably take the hem down on them anyway, but I may need to order a size up because they just look bizarrely small. So I ordered a 24 and I'm usually a 23. So, but that I just, I just don't know. We will find out, but I love flare jeans. And even with that cardigan wrapped around the top, I just find flare jeans so flattering on me. I love jeans that hit the floor and I don't mind them getting scuffed at all. I love them like over my shoes, hitting the floor. So I usually take hems down and things like that. So I might do that on these as well, but we'll see. We'll try them on, see if they fit first, because I may have to order the size up. But 
I just love Stella McCartney flare jeans. They're so, so good. Okay, I thought I would put myself out of my misery and just try these jeans on. They do fit actually exactly the same as the pair last year. And what is weird about these jeans is they're so nice and comfortable on the legs, but around the waist, they've just made the waist really, really small. So I have got them done up, but I think I could probably just, for comfort's sake, go a size down because I just feel like I always take a 23 in every other jean and I don't really understand why these are so small because I've usually got loads of room in 23 waist jeans so it's a very bizarre cut. I will take the hems down on these as well but I'm gonna order myself the next size so I think I'll send these back and reorder before they sell out because these are so so nice and I'll get a lot of wear out of them which is good. I thought I'd style it up quickly with the coat and it. I thought I'd style them up quickly with the coat. I've already placed the order on my phone because I know I'm going to wear these so much even with blazers and stuff like that these jeans will get such a lot of wear but just showing that even with a big oversized coat flares can still be super flattering. And I just, I'm loving black and brown this season. Even with a little bit of white in here, I think it would look really nice if I had like a white top underneath. So many styling options, so many videos I can make. And then this was so me. Oh, I loved it. This is a Tibby sleeveless peplum jumper. Can you picture the collars that are going to go under this and the beautiful puff sleeve blouses that I'm going to wear? I loved the design of this. It's got a sort of oatmeal effect to the knitting, if you can see there, which is super flattering. But again, this will look great with jeans, will look great with leather, and actually this will probably look good with flares as well. So there's probably going to be a lot of this worn in winter because I, oh, I just thought this was so cute. I can't wait to try this on. I literally can't wait. So this is the Tibby jumper over a Kate crop top that I got in one of my previous My Teresa hauls. And I really like this. Do you know what, I could even put my new Christian Dior belt with it and cinch it in even more. But this is so cute. I put it back with the Stella McCartney leather trousers. I love the puff sleeves, but you could just go for a normal shirt as well. But this is so sweet. And even if it had like a little collar, which this top unfortunately doesn't have a collar, but if this had, a cute little collar underneath it. Oh, it looks so sweet. Yeah, this is totally my style, but you can see how my style changes from summer to winter. I become so much more like tailored and structured. Materials are so much thicker, probably because I'm cold all the time, but also I just prefer a more structured silhouette in the winter time. I don't really know why that is. Well, if you've been around these waters for a while, you'll know that anyway. But I'm always very floaty and feminine in the summer and then more structured and tailored in the winter. Don't ask me why. <laughs> and the splurge. Oh, what else did I order? Oh, I know what this is. Sorry. <laughs> the splurge of the haul is this coat. So you probably would have seen these absolutely everywhere, but you know that I am such a huge fan of Max Mara. And these coats all sold out last year so quickly. And I didn't get my hands on one. And it was why I ended up buying the Tibby cream coat, but I still love that. So I didn't want to get the cream version of this. And I actually have this in the leopard print long version, but I wanted something quite chocolatey and cozy. I think this will look really nice with a lot of my Louis Vuitton bags. Again, it'll look good with black, as you can see. I didn't really need another cream coat, so I didn't go for the cream white one. I went for this one. It is super snuggly, and I actually went for the smallest size, and I think this is gonna be all right, but obviously, oh yeah. Oh gosh, I was worried. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, I went for the smallest size, and this is perfect. I would definitely would say take your normal size, because you don't need to size up to get the oversizedness. Perfect, but we'll style it up, we'll style it up, don't worry, we'll get there. This is the Max Mara coat and I am in love with this. I am so happy with how this fits. It's not like too oversized that it like drowns me. I love the color of it. I've styled it with my pochette Matisse and the Stella McCartney trousers and the Maysale shoes, but this is just such an easy coat to wear. You could even put a belt with it to really cinch it in. It's super cozy and still looks quite structured and smart. 
oh my god, I'm going to get so much wear out of this. I could potentially need to sell my other Max Mara coat now because I think this one is going to overshadow it very quickly. But really loving the black tones and the brown tones together. I think this is just such an easy wearable look. I love it. Now, I totally forgot about these, but... This is such a huge trend for this season, like statement tights are going to be absolutely everywhere. And I saw these come out last season and I sort of ummed and ahed about them. This season I've decided I'm going to take the plunge because I do really like them. And with monochromatic outfits, they'll be a nice little zhuzh to what I'm wearing. So I purchased myself the Gucci tights. And these are the brown ones. I didn't get the black ones, but I think I'll get the black ones as well. Now, I'm probably asking for trouble wearing these around my cats, but we will find out. We will find out. I hope it won't end in tears. But with everything that I've purchased, like the coat, this will go really nicely if I wear this with like leather skirts. Again, they'll be super complimentary and just give the outfit a little bit of elevation, whilst also keeping my pins warm, which is perfect. So I'm going to keep those in their box for now, but obviously I will style them up with you as well. So this is something a little bit different for me, but I've gone for the Gucci tights with some BB heels, a Isabel Morant leather skirt, and an Isabel Morant kind of mustard jumper. A little bit of a colour injection. I think, what bag would we go with for this? Do we go for a Gucci bag? I feel like Gucci bag might be a little bit of an overkill. Is it an overkill? Yeah. I don't think that's the right bag. I think maybe this all black Prada bag is a good one. I got this from My Teresa as well. And I think I got this jumper from My Teresa as well. I'm pretty sure I did. So this is just something a little bit more statement, maybe good for fashion month or something like that, but just something a little bit different. But I love this jumper so much, it's so cute. I wonder if it's still in stock. I have seen it in stock loads of other places as well. So if it is still in stock, I will link it down below. It also comes in loads of other colors and I'll see if I can find those. And finally, it is the repetition of these trousers. I'm so, so happy that these are also back in stock on my Teresa because these are such a great pair of vegan leather trousers and I wear them so, so much. I've got so much wear out of these, but I did just want to try them, like I mentioned, in the size down, just to see if they fit a little bit nicer because I know that some people commented saying they're a bit baggy. I mean, I, I quite liked them baggy, but we'll try a different style on and see how we get on and see if I can actually move in them because these are super rigid, okay? Super rigid, so we'll try those on as well. These are great, these are so flattering as well. Show a little bit of your ankle, which is great and good to wear with like heels rather than boots, I would say, but you know, however you wanna do it, you do you, boo. Okay, these fit so much better than the other ones. They are like tighter and more rigid, but they're a lot more flattering, especially around this area. Perhaps they were a little bit baggy before. I don't know why I got the size up to be honest, but now I've got a pair to sell, which is great, but they're rigid trousers and that's generally something that you get with leather trousers, but these ones are definitely a lot more flattering and they don't feel that different on the leg to be perfectly honest. They look different, but they don't feel it. So it's not like they feel massively tighter and more restrictive or anything. So yeah, I had to take that size down, which I'm very happy about. And I've started up with some Manolo Blahnik May sales. And then this is just an old top that I got from ASOS, but loads of people seem to have liked it, which is great. And then I put my Prada black on black bag with it. Cause I think I like this whole sort of black outfit vibe. Well, I was a bit worried about that. I was wondering whether I was making a mistake buying another pair, but actually I'm really happy with how these look. They look a lot more flattering. I get it now, guys, I get it. But everything will be linked in the description box down below as usual. All of the outfits that I style things up with will be linked down there. So if you want to do a little spot of autumn winter shopping yourself, then everything will be down there. And like I said, I always find that everything sells out really quickly. So that's why I'm doing this video earlier and why I'm starting ordering now. I said to myself, I wasn't gonna miss out on all of the good stuff this year. So yeah, before you start saying it's September, Lydia, just know that it's already cold here and I am getting prepped for autumn. Okay? <laughs> 
So that is a great start to the winter wardrobe, for sure, with only one item needing to be returned and only for a slightly larger size, which is great. I'm gonna get changed now into comfy clothes because it is so miserable outside and I just wanna curl up. I'm gonna make Ali light the fire, probably make some dinner and chill out for the rest of the evening. So it's gonna be a nice cozy evening. The cozy clothes are on. <laughs> I am in desperate need of some new cozy clothes this year. I've shrunk a lot of things in the wash, getting to know how to use my new washing machine and tumble dryer. And these ones are covered in paint. But these are like old ASOS ones. I know when I wore these and I was painting the bedroom, everyone's like, oh, Lydia's painting in cashmere. No, these are mango, these are not cashmere. Sorry about that. L Lummy had joined us then. How are you going now? Going already. But yeah, so I'm in need of some cozy clothes. I'm just sorting out these shoes down here as well. But I'm going to be on the hunt for some more cozy clothes for the cozy evenings. How many times can you say cozy in a matter of seconds? But I'm gonna go make us some dinner now. We're gonna have some pasta and I am hungry. I've also realized that my wardrobe is in need of another clear out, just clearing out all of my winter stuff from last year that I won't wear this year if I've got like styles that I've just sort of bought duplicates of or anything like that. I think it's time for a little bit of a wardrobe sale. You should always have a seasonal wardrobe sort out and I think I'm gonna do that as well whilst I'm getting the entire house sorted for winter. <laughs> Ali started laying the table, so I'm just gonna start on the pasta. Gordon is being antisocial. I'm not, I'm waiting for you to come over next. As usual. We've just done a food shop and the fire is roaring. And Ali turned around to me earlier and said, are you already talking about winter on your channel? And then he goes and lights the fire. So I rest my case. <laughs> but I probably know that the weather will get better and I will eat my words for talking about this. But at the same time, I do want my content to go out a little bit sooner so that you'll get to pick the good stuff and also get planning your autumn wreaths as well because that's the most important wreath of the year I would say. So now we're going to snuggle under blankets and decide on what we're going to watch on Netflix. Hi. <laughs> Hello everyone. Okay so might be a little bit windy and a little bit airplaney wait for that to go over shall we anyway let's just start talking anyway so when i started filming this video it was the day before lynx's disappearance if you don't know what i'm talking about i will have already uploaded a sort of life update to bring you up to speed because i'm aware i just kind of filmed my last vlog and you might have seen the the sign that lynx was missing so i thought it'd probably be better because i've had a few a few vlogs off basically and Ali and I went on holiday and yeah we just took some time off and just kind of came to terms with what was happening so if you want to know about what's going on and what happened and and where we're at I'll link it either on screen or down below because that's actually going up either tonight or tomorrow needless to say I kind of fell out of love with things for a while. To be honest, I think I'm probably still out of love with things. Also, I'm not wearing rings because I just fake tanned. But I think I talk about this in the video, but I, I lost my joy for a while and I'm still trying to do normal things and be normal and enjoy the normal things that I once enjoyed. It's not an easy process, but I'm getting there. Today I lit incense and I even did a bit of hoovering. <laughs> It was great. So yeah, I didn't really continue getting my house ready for autumn, which kind of was a good thing because it gave an opportunity for my new wreath to arrive that arrived whilst we were away. 
it's not actually up yet, so we'll be putting that up today. I haven't seen it. I haven't even seen pictures of it. So I'm, I'm quite looking forward to this, slash a little bit nervous. I found the most amazingly talented person on, I don't even know her name actually, but I found her on Instagram and I'll link her Instagram. I think it's like number five something. I wanted kind of a specific wreath for the door and if you guys know, I love like dried flowers and things like that and I thought this was perfect, but I haven't seen it yet. So I don't know if it is perfect just yet, but we're gonna open it up together and have a look and just, it's, it's not gonna be the most autumnal of videos now, although obviously I have started buying stuff for autumn. It's just life comes along sometimes and knocks you for six. And so at the moment, it's more that I'm just getting, getting back to things as much as I possibly can. And I hope that's okay. I'm feeling a lot better, honestly, like this time last week, I could not have imagined ever picking up my camera again. I honestly thought to myself that I, I would never be able to do this again. So it's, it's, it's sort of a process, I guess, that you just time heals and you, you continue on. So the fact that I'm vlogging and feeling quite good about it and I'm like excited to do it and that feels good. Also, I think this plane is just flying over our house at the moment, so I don't know what it's doing, it's just in circles. <laughs> so that's kind of where we're at. But like I said, go over, watch the video. I'm gonna be continuing my search for him and every week I'll be posting on the, on the Wednesday, just a reminder that he's still gone because obviously I can't post every day because that's not what my channels are about. So it's, it's finding like a, a happy medium in terms of, you know, how much I can use my platforms to search for him. I think we're also gonna be going out at some point and flyering the entire place where we live. Just because some people aren't on social media and some people, you know, don't leave their houses that much and you never know. So we're, we're gonna go and do that as well. Yeah, so that's basically it. I'm gonna be finishing off my little autumn vlog with you today and just getting that wreath up because I feel like that's, that's something that I've been looking forward to doing and I haven't really looked forward to much. So unboxing that with you, and getting that up will signify the sort of change in season. I think it's the end of summer now, like whilst Ali and I were away, we, um, which I don't think that, that vlog might be up, I have no idea to be honest, I've not had my head in my schedule, but we had some amazing weather here, apparently it was boiling yesterday, Ali and I weren't here, so we have no idea, we were in Ibiza. But I think now the weather is on like the downward stretch, seems like it might be getting a little bit colder, which, I'm not mad about because I've been buying stuff and I'm excited to wear that stuff. So yeah, basically I'm gonna pop on some clothes and put some washing on because I literally have like no time at all before my next trip and I have so many trips coming up. So it's quite good, I'm keeping busy. September is a crazy month and it should be good. So happy to be back. Happy to be feeling this joy from vlogging again because I honestly, I didn't ever think that I would be able to do this again. The way that I felt was just, I can't even explain it, but hopefully I explain it well in my other video. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so, whoop. So. I'm actually nervous. I've not even like seen pictures of this. So as I said, I found this lady on Instagram, so I'll put all of her details in um, the description box down below. So, oh my God, I can hear it moving. I don't want to ruin it. Ooh. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay, so the name of the company is Number Five Blooms. Oh my God. Exactly what I wanted. I've made an absolute mess of everywhere. But to show you it, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to incorporate like where we live, but also incorporate my love of dry flowers and pampas and all of those things. And I also wanted to incorporate the fact that we have pheasants everywhere. They kind of disappear around summertime, but then they come back around this time of year. Another thing I wanted to incorporate was the lavender that we have out the front of our house, because we have, I think it's French lavender, just, it just covers the front of our house. And I wanted to bring that into the, to the door, just make it perfect, basically. So what I've got, oh my God, I got, can I fit in this? 
Oh, wow. Okay, I can't even fit in. Let me stand up. So, as you can see, it's got lots of the pampas grass and lots of dried beautifulness. Oh my God, I love it so much. And then there's also little pheasant feathers in there, just a touch so that it's not too much. I think there's about three in there, which is perfect. Oh, I can't wait to get this up on my door. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh my goodness. So just so you know as well, I am actually paying for this. I insisted that I paid for this because for me, it's really important to support like new businesses and new brands and, this just was right up my street. Her branding, everything about what she was doing was perfect. And I really wanted something quite specific in the fact that I wanted something dried. And hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping that it lasts because we have like a porch. So I'm hoping that it doesn't get ruined or anything, but I don't know. Dear Lydia and Ali, thank you so much for trusting me to do your special wreath. I have had great pleasure out of making it and it's a career highlight of mine being such a huge hashtag fangirl. Lots of love, Nicola. So like I said, I'll put all of her details down below, but let's get this up on the door because I think it's time to change the wreath. So this is my old wreath from Maison de Fleur. This is more like my spring wreath and this is all made from faux flowers, so it lasts. And I can just put it up whenever, like if a wreath doesn't last, I can just put this one back up because it's quite good to just have one that, that suits all seasons. And it's really, really beautiful. And you can buy this on their website. It's for sale now. I don't know what it's called, but this is just a great all rounder. If you just want to keep the same wreath, it's great. But this one is super special and I'm so excited to get it up. Carrie, mm -hmm. are you able to take this one off? <gasps> How amazing is that? Isn't it amazing? It's so pretty. I love the lavender. Yeah. Like there's a tiny subtle bit of colour. Yeah, I wanted to put bring it in from the flower bed. I just need to get some string or something and hang it. So this is the new wreath in all of its glory and it just looks perfect. I'm so, so happy with it. Literally, it's so beautiful. I just hope it lasts, um, but I love the size of it. I love the colors and the tones and I love how it works with the new color of the front door. It's absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna go on inside, I'm gonna light some candles and get myself fully in the autumn spirit. I've actually just gone down to my office and watched the day that I first started filming this video when I did my My Teresa haul, which by the way will all be linked down below. I didn't realise that there was footage of Lynx in this video. I actually have a picture of him under that bed. That's the last picture I have of him. So that was, that was tough. <laughs> I didn't realise that, that was in this video. And I'm sorry to keep going on about it, but like I said, this is like my first vlog going out since He's been gone and it's just a bit of an experience trying to get used to that. But hopefully I've touched on everything in the other video. So yeah, but like I said, everything will be linked in the description box down below. And as the weather gets colder, I'm gonna do more around the house and get more of the autumnal vibes in here. So yeah, anyway, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for giving me time over the last few weeks as well. So thanks.